welcome all of you to a new episode of Women on Fire. Dear beloved, I am so glad that you were able to put some time apart to spend with us and with a living God. Sit down, relax, have your cup of tea and join us. Today, we have a very special subject and it is give thanks to the Lord. It is so important that we all learn to give thanks to the Lord. Now, one of the questions I used to have when I was just a baby Christian and having, having troubles or having problems, and I'd say to the Lord, how am I going to give thanks when I feel so bad about these things? Nothing is going well at the moment. Why do I give thanks? Have you experienced these things? Yes. What yes. was your answers? Well, I thought, um, because I, I didn't understand much, I thought it was, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I probably don't deserve it and God is mad about me. That was my oh, first reaction. <laughs> yes, sometimes I felt yeah. that too. Yeah. I felt that things were going wrong because I was not yeah. worthy to have things going right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, some people are mm. feeling even right now mm. that way. Mm. Yeah, mm. I believe so. Mm. Anyone else? What? How, how did you feel about giving thanks? Um. That's actually challenging. <laughs> <laughs> it is um, challenging, but I have to be real and honest. Yes, please and it, do. It is hard, and I have friends came to me and say, "When you're going through a situation like that, how are you going to be happy? How can you express praise?" I mean, for me, um, I sometimes I identify with them, but I then thank God I I have Christ in my heart. Yes. And uh, I cling back to the Word of God, you know, and the, the Word said, um, shout to the Lord, you know, just, just give things to Him. And then it opens up my mm. spirit, um, my, body, my mind, <coughs> just to think of what things are good, as in Philippines say, think of good, uh, think about things are worthy, mm. happy, mm. and constructive things that, yes. that patch that up, mm. you know, not... So I think with that, um, that helped me mm. yes. go through yes. in, in a stronger Praise way. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because of like, our maturity in Christ, it becomes easier for us to make the right choice and to choose to deliberately give thanks. Because in doing that also, we become obedient to the Word of God to give thanks in all circumstances. Because our God is a great God. He knows the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we see the situation for what it is yes. with our eyes, our ears, the sense wrong. But God in the spirit is seeing something different. Mm -hmm. So in choosing to give thanks, we not only affect our atmosphere around us, but yes. we also affect our own spirit. Mm -hmm. So, yes. yes. But I must say that choosing to give thanks it comes with your maturity in God where you begin to see all the good things He has done and you yes. know you can trust Him, yes. you know? So how can we help the little ones? How can we help our brothers and sisters in, in church or our family members that they are new in the things of God? How can we help them to understand that to give thanks to God is beneficial. How, how could we do that? Do you have any ideas? Um, well, I believe that uh, we ourselves, you know, we have to give the example. Amen. And Amen. Doing that and the atmosphere changes. Yes. Um, I've, read, I've read a book about Thanksgiving, I remember just now, and it says that uh, when we give thanks to the Lord, um, we invite His presence, the, the color changes, uh, right. the peace is around, and even the, the, the smell attracts angels, attracts heavenly things. 
So in that environment, it's, it's beautiful to raise children, or it's beautiful to have a nice, uh, um, comfortable and cozy dinner Amen. with your family, things like that. But uh, when, when we don't give thanks, um, anything can happen because, uh, um, you know, the enemy is always observing, yes. always right on time. Whenever wrong word we say, whatever wrong attitude we show, there it is, our enemy. So we, this is what I learned uh, that we take in, in life these days, you know, we must be careful. As our sister says, choosing carefully, you know, mm. what we say mm. and what we do mm. and what we think. Yeah. I have a testimony to share. Okay. And this testimony to me it speaks these words. Mm. To give thanks mm. is to welcome victory. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember year, many years ago, I had my eyes were, um, well, actually three in the, since the age of four. Mm. They discovered at school that I needed glasses. Mm. Mm. And um, to make the story short, all my life I wore glasses. So, uh, I was building a tent with my husband at midnight in a in the land. In, in a land. And um, the, the, the sticks that hold the tent were of a steel. Mm. And we, you know, in the middle of the darkness, we didn't have light with us, you know, we were just guessing everything, you know, and hammering this, hammering that. And at one particular time, one of those steel bars fell upon my face mm. and crushed my glasses. Mm. So, how can I give thanks of that? Mm. <laughs> we had days of work yeah. and no glasses that meant, even with the glasses, the left eye could hardly see anything. And I could only see very little. Mm. And many times I used to drive by praying in tongues mm. and asking the guidance of God, mm. never telling my husband about it. Now he was going to hear all in TV, but uh, anyway, <laughs> but he, I, I've told him already. Yes. I used to drive without being able to see, and if it rained, the, the water in the, in the ground and the lights of the street, they all became one big blinding light. So I used to pray in tongues, because I didn't know where I was going. Forget about reading the names of the streets and all that. Why am I saying all this? The condition of the eyes were very poor. Mm -hmm. And I was reasonably new Christian. Mm -hmm. I believe in healing. Mm -hmm. I had spoken to God. I said, Lord, look, you know, how can I read your Bible? You know, how can I give testimony? I'll give it all to you. You know, when it suits you fine, you know, I'm waiting. <laughs> so that was my faith. So that particular day, night, this thing crashes my glasses. I had two choices. Mm. One, to be very upset and angry and grievous mm. and all that. And another one, to be thankful. Mm. Now, how can you be thankful? Your glasses are crushed and you're going to be able to see. Mm. But you know, I said, Lord, I know my glasses are somewhere there in the ground that I cannot see. I know my husband is probably upset, you know, he was not even saying anything. But thank you, Lord, that I'm not bleeding. Mm. Thank you, Lord, that I can still have the two eyes. Thank you, Lord, that I'm not hurt. Mm. Thank you that you are with me. Mm. You know, Lord, I said to him, and I said it aloud, I'm not going to be upset, even though I feel like getting upset. Mm. <laughs> I'd rather not be upset. Mm. Mm. That's mm. And uh, well, in having said that, we finished the tent and uh, went to sleep in the tent. And the next morning, you know, the glasses, when you wear glasses all the time, they're part of your body, you know? Mm -hmm. So you, you don't even know they are there, or, we, or if they are there, whatever. So I got up very busy, you know, I had to make breakfast for 30 people, uh, everybody in tents, and, and so I was busy and all that. And there were people 
uh, that they wanted to eat noodles for breakfast. <laughs> so as, as, as Caucasians and all that, I was not used to that, but I was willing to learn, so I bought these one-minute noodles. I thought, that's easy, you know? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. and, uh, so I said, I wonder whether I can eat these noodles, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was just an automatic thing. I pick up the thing and close the other day, I put it very close, you know, like this. Uh, onto, because this one didn't see much at all. So close to see whether I can see. I said, no, I can't see anything. And I put a little bit of there. I said, oh, I can see. And I read no MSG and all that. I said, hey, hang on. I can't read that with glasses. What's going Oh, no glasses. Mm -hmm. And then I go like that. I say, oh, no MSG, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this tiny little writing. I can see. I can see. Ah, you know. <laughs> and I feel that the Thanksgiving of that night was the one that opened yes. the door for the Lord to do the healing. I had 20-20 vision. I didn't say anything to anybody at that time. No one knew that that's what happened. Not even my husband. I thought, I'm not going to say anything, just in case any little doubt comes and steals my healing. <laughs> I was just like a little child keeping, no? So, at night, we did a big bonfire. Mm. And everybody sat around the bonfire. The stars were everywhere. It is a high place, so you kind of closer to heaven. Mm. And everybody sitting, worshiping, we were all singing to mm. God. And I look at there and I say, Oh, Lord, look at that star going, Nyee. Is that a play? Oh, oh well, look at that one, it's going like that. And that one, ooh, I said, what's going on? And the Lord says, they are my satellites. Mm. I could see satellites with my eyes. Mm -hmm. They were like little stars. That was such a, an experience of God. And I began to say, can you see the satellites? What satellites? I said, come on, you know, is that one, that one going there? And, and some could see, some could not even see it. Mm -hmm. Somebody could see because I knew they said, oh, yeah, 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 there. You know, they could see what I could see. You know if they are seeing. And that day then I proclaimed the healing of the Lord in, upon my eyes. Amen. All glory to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But I think thanksgiving opens the hand of God yes. Yes. Right. to do even greater things. Mm. It's like a little child, you know. Yes. You say, Mommy, 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 did you, did you uh, bring me something from work? Mm. Right? Mm. And you give, it. oh, thank you, Mommy, thank you, I'm so happy. Then you start thinking, oh, maybe I should bring more often. Mm. Mm. It doesn't do that, your heart to that? Yes, yes. See, how fitting is it? The scripture says, that's right, one chronicle is say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deed among the people. Now you're yes. testifying oh. by giving thanks to God. You're yes. actually testifying about yes. the goodness of God. Yeah. It opens up, isn't it? The whole yes. new realm yes. and the whole faces of God. Oh, praise, praise God. the Lord. Amen. 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 Yeah. Sometimes we go through circumstances, you know, mm -hmm. but there's always somebody that is going through worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's always something mm -hmm. to thank God for. Mm -hmm. If there is nothing around us to thank God for, there's mm -hmm. one more thing that we can thank Him. Mm -hmm. That though everything around this world mm -hmm. is not bright, mm -hmm. <coughs> there is a bright future. Yes. Such a bright future in the heavenlies for us mm, yes. that we will need sunglasses for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, there is yeah. always a reason to give thanks to God. Mm. Yes. True. That's true. And mm. it's, it's a practice mm. that we can do. What can stop us giving thanks? I, I, what do you, do you think? Have you got any experience, something ever stopped you from giving thanks? Uh, probably anger, you know, when you're, when you're angry, you forgot uh, the good things. And we feel miserable because something has gone terribly wrong. And in those circumstances, 
example, maybe for uh, pain, you know, the deep pain, losing someone you love, or you know, and those things sometimes um, we forgot. Thank God, uh, we forgot the, the the plans of God, the the, the um, intentions of God. Everything is got a um, you know um, in, intentions. God always has plans. And uh, now we come on to understand that, and we think, you know, even if even if the, uh, there's a, there's a sadness or there's a, um, pain, uh, like uh, I've been through. God really tests me with pain. More or less about 50 years ago, uh, I've been through uh, with a um, failure, kidney failure, yes. chronic kidney failure, and I thought everything was finished for me. And, but not even that might be, thank God. I was just thinking, uh, how can it be? You know, I'm still young, I'm, I have a family to take care of, things like that. But God has his plans. And mm -hmm. I've been introduced to, to um, born again Christianity, uh, but I was rejecting, resisting, you know. I was thinking that uh, um, I, I, I didn't have a future. But God um, put me in a corner and I started reading the Bible. Amen. That was how I introduced I had nothing else to do, connect to a machine, and, and there God revealed to me, uh, you know, uh, all his plans and all, his, all how to live. And I learned what I know now, and Thanksgiving is one of them, you know. Oh. I, and now I never miss it. I, even if uh, I, I was not rewarded, even if I was mistreated, even if I was um, used um, by people, I still thank God because I know now that God has uh, plans with that because mm -hmm. he is changing us our character changing mm -hmm. our intentions um, to be humble um, and in, ta in his time mm -hmm. our lives will change that is what I learned in all these years yeah. about Thanksgiving actually do you all agree anything that touches the self we find it hard to give thanks to God mm -hmm. And yet, yes. that is precisely what God wants to take yeah. away from us, mm -hmm. the self, you know. That's right. Yes, yeah? yes mm -hmm. I agree with that. that yes. That's so well put. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and yes, uh, what it touches the self, the yeah. good old self. Mm -hmm. I don't know about so good. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're sharing, and I, I really couldn't agree more, like to say, you give thanks, and in there you'll find hope. Yes. And you'll find peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know? And I thought, oh, that Bible scripture kind of is as if like I'm quoting Bible, but I'm saying it's this true. is the living word of God. Amen. And it's just fitting Amen. perfectly yes. as this one. Testified again and say, in a Jeremiah 29, 11, I just read this, okay? Mm -hmm. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Mm -hmm. Says the Lord, thought of peace, not of evil, mm -hmm. to give you a future and hope. Mm -hmm. How you, you were testifying how from there you get hope. It yes. opens up. Yes. Then is it then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I exactly. listen to you. That's so because you your Thanksgiving opened up mm. a pathway to yes. yeah, Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Mm. The, it, this is a living That's word. Right. It's just not a Bible. Mm. And you it's know, the word. word. That word, that, that that verse that you just read. Mm. You know, it is God who knows the plans for you, not we, you know. Yes. And many times we think we know it all. <laughs> but the word says He knows the plans. So oh, yes. that's why we have to give thanks. He mm. knows the plans, not yes. us, you know. That's right. Mm. Amen. That's Amen. right. Yeah. Well, in, in 1 Chronicles 16, mm. it says, Give thanks to the Lord, mm. for He is good. good. That is a good reason oh, to give yes, thanks to God. Yes. Because mm. even when we're going through hardship, mm. God is still good. Yeah. Amen. Whether that we believe or don't believe, He's still good. Yes. Yes. And whether we appreciate it or not, He's still faithful. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mm. change Him. Mm. What we think and what, what the world mm. may think does not change who He is. Yes. So we can give thanks that He's an unchangeable yes. God, Amen. that He is faithful, that He is good, mm. He is worthy mm. of honor and glory. He, why is He worthy? Because He paid for our sins. Yes. And if we did not, if we have not been drawn to Him mm. by His loving kindness, mm. then we wouldn't have had hope. 
we would not have salvation. Yes. We would not have protection. Mm. And that is plenty to, even if our life be miserable yes. in this mm. earth, yes. even if we live a, a persecuted life mm. or a life in and out of jail for the cause of God, mm. there yes. is a good reason to give thanks. Yes. That He is good, mm. that mm. He is with us, mm. that He is almighty and all powerful, mm. able to save. So, with this particular subject, I think we can come to the conclusion that there is nothing upon this earth mm -hmm. that should stop us mm -hmm. from giving thanks. Yes. Yes. I don't know about you, but when I give thanks, I experience an opening of the heart. Have you experienced yes. that? Yes. It's like giving thanks to God. It's like a, a present, as mm -hmm. you were speaking, mm -hmm. comes in and the heart begins mm -hmm. to open itself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the presence of God gets closer. Yes. It's, it's also like a, you receive it, the mantle of joy, and all heaviness disappears. Yes, with yes. Thanksgiving. So for anyone that is uh, come into our lives, for anyone that comes in contact with us that is going through a treacherous time, mm -hmm. we can go mm -hmm. and encourage them. Yes. We can be yes. so on fire for God, mm -hmm. so full of the love of God and thanksgiving for who He is. Yes. And we can encourage others. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I feel that like giving thanks does, it paralyzes the devil. Oh, yes. yes. It stops the strategies of Satan of mm. giving unforgiving thoughts, mm. resentful thoughts, yes. anger mm. thoughts, mm. grievous mm. thoughts. Yes. The enemy tries to pull these mm. thoughts mm. into our life mm. through mm. circumstances. Yes. Mm. And God is watching what are we going to do with it. Mm. Mm. But when we thank God, mm. that is paralyzed. Changes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It puts changes on the devil. But if we are silent from giving thanks to God, he paralyzes God yeah. in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. In our lives. It's like we are closing the door to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Where are you, Lord? I don't feel you. Where are, you know, where is your presence? Well, mm -hmm. the presence is in the praises and in the thanksgiving. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, we are coming close to the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. Shall we have a good prayer? Yes, we should. Anybody, any of you sense in your heart you want to pray for all the lovely ladies that are watching, some of them are experiencing times of hardship. Mm. If you feel like praying, just go for it. If not, yes. then I'll pray. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Yes, Lord, thank you. Lord. You're a good God, Lord. Yes, amen. You're a merciful God, Father. Who is like you, Lord God, that will lay down your life for your people, Lord? Oh, how I desire, Lord, that you will grant the grace all around the world to people that hear this, Lord. Take on board thanksgiving yes. because you're a good God, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Father, Lord, we magnify your name with thanksgiving in our heart for you. You are good. We praise you, Lord, for your goodness and we worship mm -hmm. you for your holiness, Lord. You always are there for us. Thank you, my Lord, for being present at all times in good and in bad. Lord, give us grace to realize that without uh, expressing words to worship you and thank you, Lord, it's important because there is power when we speak your word, my Lord, and all our circumstances will change. And we have that assurance, Lord. We thank you for your, for your knowledge and your wise, Lord. We will always appreciate and remind us, Lord Holy Spirit, that Thanksgiving is important in our walk. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dear beloved, we are so glad that you joined us. Now we would like to know from you, 
your experiences with God, how the Lord draws you to say thank you. And if you have been blessed by these episodes and what touched you the most, we'd love to hear that. Have a look at the bottom of your screen right now and you will find an address there. Take note of that. Please write to us so we can experience the fellowship with you as well. But for now, may God bless you.